Hey, what's up? Uh, so, welcome to Banjo Al Kazooie. Ben, yeah, Banjo Al Kazooie, because we are finishing this bad boy today. So, join right in as I unmute my game so you can hear it. Oh boy, you couldn't see the end. <laughs> Either way, uh, turn down the uh, where was I? Which one was I? Because I don't remember. The money is on this guy. Wait to find out. If I remember correctly, I got up to Mad Monster Mansion before I decided to stop playing. So, let me just double check to make sure that's where I am right now. Yeah, okay. So, I need to find out which of those I didn't get. And in case you have, in this case is your first time tuning in. Hang on, my controller is busted. I need to switch it out. That right there is a problem you get when you have game systems this old. Sometimes the controllers start stop working. On the other hand, I'm also genuinely amazed that this N64 that's as old as I am still works. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so this is your first time tuning into Banjo Al Kazooie, and if you're the kind of degenerate that drinks at noon, before noon, like I do, <laughs> you can join in the fun with the drinking game. Basically, ah uh, shit, that keeps peeking. All right, let's try that. All right, you take a sip for every jiggy, empty honeycomb, or ginger I come across. And if you haven't had a very good breakfast like I have, you will be feeling it before long. Believe me. And I have to let my dog in. Get away from there! So this is a little... Considering how my Elgato only fits on my uh, laptop, and I can't outsource the screen. I'll be Either way. I'm dead. If you want, considering we're getting near the end of the game, you can also take a shot every time we uh, die. And of course, if you don't feel like drinking now, hey, archive it for later, watch it later. I don't care. This is just supposed to be for fun. That's what the essence of live streaming is. Uh, tell your friends that you're watching this, because believe me, before long, you will start seeing me act like an asshole. And nothing makes people laugh harder on the internet than seeing other people act like assholes. My list will get ten times worse. And I don't know, I'm going to try to beat the game today, and I don't know how I'm going to fare against Frontilda. This is like one of the hardest ball final bosses in video game history, and I will be plastered for it. Alright, what did I, what did I, and did I not get? If anyone in the chat cares enough to tell me, that would be grateful. We have to figure that out. Did I get the one in here? Let's like start here and work our way up. I already got this guy. Oh, 
Dum, dum, dum. There's like a certain way to, there's like a certain uh, fluidness to the controller. You don't get many modern games anymore. Well, not kind of floaty because it feels like the size of, you know, a bear. <laughs> My dog heard the bird. And he's just like searching outside for it right now. And now he's cuddling into this crevice between my couch and the next couch. <sighs> Okay, no one can hide down. Five So I got an apple. So I get the church. I'm pretty sure I didn't get any of the ones where you have to be the pumpkin. Yeah. Which, by the way, the pumpkin uh, transformation in this game sucks. Worst uh, transformation in the whole game. Great horror level, but worst transformation. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember what's going off about that the last time I played this. Is like, I wonder if every level had a transformation, and uh, half of them were like, terrible. Got some flowers in here. Not worth my time. I do not have the time to listen to me whine about everything and nothing all at once. I am, you know, one of those melodramatic fools. Neurotic could vote, no doubt about it. Basement, but again, I'm just double checking to be sure. And if I'm not mistaken, this is another type where you can find the infamous stop. Yep, stole it. Not here anymore, but it was. Once upon a time. Uh, that's like. I always found that so weird is that, like, you can. Is that, like,. I will never be able to get those things again unless I buy a new copy of Banjo Kazooie. Oh, Jinjo! Time to take a shot! You know your life has not gone well when you find yourself drinking at noon. Or drinking a poor loco at noon. Oh, God bless the N64. Why is my mic phone keep peaking? I need my. I need to get them. Well, that's the thing. I do have a good mic, which is what I uh, record my. What I record my on the Oscars videos on and my dog game. I just let you back in. Either way, basically I have a better mic that I record my uh, Oscars videos on, but the problem is it's the pop filter. It's so ghetto. So basically my pop filter, I don't have like a mount for it, so I literally have to hold it up in front of my mouth. In between my mouth and the microphone. So if, can you imagine like just I would only have one hand to play a game with, so I would have to go like this to like do anything, which is not conducive to gaming. In the slightest. Yeah, yeah it's the uh, camera on the N64 was the best. 
Okay, I'm almost out of eggs. No, I'm not. Yeah, that's the thing, because uh, it's in the top right corner, something can be a little hard to see. Alright, if I remember correctly, the empty honeycomb is in this room. But I need to be the pumpkin to get it. Yeah, it's, I, that's why I always hated the pumpkin, is that, like, all these, um, all the other transformations in the game, they have something special to them, like the crocodile can attack, the, uh, the walrus can swim, and the, and the, like, freezing water, the, um, the bee can fly for, without needing feathers, which the bee is awesome, but you'll see that later today, probably. Oh yeah, there was another one in the shitter. I need the pumpkin for this guy too. Did I get literally every jiggy but the ones I need the pumpkin? Where even was the egg in that room? Was it in like was it in the shitter? Speaking of which, uh what other games would you guys like to see me uh play? While drunk. I can't guarantee it'll be a regular thing, you know, an alcohol cost money, you know, which I'm trying to save up. But, uh, it needs to be games that, like, I'm familiar with. So, if you look at my channel, you'll see, like, a list of, you know, my favorite of, like, games that I already played for, uh, the big boss band. So, like, just other personal favorites, mostly N64s, like the Zelda N64s, the, uh, um, the Jack and Daxter trilogy, the Sly Cooper trilogy. Like, those are games I can play while drunk. So it feels like it's all off really well. That's what I want. What other bad decision making do you want to see me make? This is a question. Hmm, so good. I really wish I could have gotten this done sooner because, but you know, I got sick, and as much of a degenerate as I am, I don't drink on it. Don't drink while you're sick. Don't drink a four local while you're sick. Let's put it that way. I'm no longer in college. Although I do wish I was. I think I mentioned my uh, memories of Mad Monster Mansion the first time I played this game. Was when I, was again. I remember like the first time the music hit a crescendo was when I was climbing to the top of this mansion. And it was so... Uh, Another one! By the way, um, you don't have to be drinking, like, right now. You could be watching this on Archive, that really helps, that's really enjoyable. Or, hell, you could be doing something else, like maybe eat, maybe eat, eating lunch, and take a bite every time one of those things. I don't, I don't fucking know. Live your own life the way you want it, man, alright? You don't need me to tell you what to do. But you should do everything and tell you what to do, because I am amazing. Oh... <sighs> I'm not even drunk yet. It's just like I haven't played this in a while now. <laughs> yeah, see, last time I did this, it was like... I was feeling it by the end. Because I hadn't eaten yet that day, and then just like by the end of it... I was... <laughs> I was gone. I had like a hangover at like 8 o'clock that night. Right before I went to bed. It was awful. But playing Magic Kazooie was fun. That's what counts. Alright, did I get the uh, thing in here? Oh, um... So, people in the chat, have they, have they even played a ukulele? Yeah, that's like something I hear is supposed to be a return to form for this stuff, and I'd be interested in uh, playing it again. Or playing uh, a game like this again. Because yeah, I just love these games so much growing up. Did I do this? 
No, I did not. Okay. I am tumbled out of my self puzzle and you can take this infernal thing. That stuff underneath. But, but strange, I always thought Tumblr had a lot of porn in it, not a jiggy. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Yeah, by the way, you can't kill this guy. If you do it, he'll just respawn. So, yeah. Oh, fuck you. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah. I love it. It's like the haunted mansion at Disney. It's just so cool. So gothic and cheesy. How do you even tell me not like this shit? Where's the Where's the other A? Where's the other A? Where's the other A? It's right there. Yes, I do. Okay, sweet. Let's try that again. And then you move over here, and then the there. Uh, 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 uh. Are you picking fun kills? Well, fuck them all of you. Fuck all your undead asses. I'm leaving this gloomy shed. I need to turn that golf with my next golf. Oh, <laughs> uh, what else do I need? Did I get the, uh, did I do the organ battle? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, one way to find out. I feel like I had to, but I only have five remaining. Or four now, but still. Oh yeah, this water hurts you too, for like reasons that I don't think are really explained. It's haunted. There's, there's your explanation. I did not want to do that. Woo! 
Yeah, that uh, beneath, that well part you need the uh, pumpkin for. It. Thankfully, not nearly as terrifying as the well from Ocarina of Time. But still, you know, it does shit. Oh, Jinja! Play this music out because it's so good. Um, let's hear a uh, let's hear some. Just say Tom is awesome in the chat. So I know you're all there. <laughs> Just kidding. Son of a bitch. Big old door is very tough. Stupid bear is not fast enough. Oh, I'll show you who's fast, bitch. Ah, the good old Russian flesh is going now. It has with this music, and I want the brightness on my lap. My OBS software cannot suck. Of course, I say OBS software, but it's open broadcasting software, so I just said open broadcasting software software. Same way when people say, Oh, I'm going to the ATM machine. It's your, I'm going to an automatic transmission system machine machine. And my PIN number, my personal identification number. number.
Hey dude, what's up buddy? Like the organ? Molly! Yeah, whatever. Alright, on to the tantrum hand. What's with my... There we go. I'm not even drunk yet. I'm not even buzzed. Alright, this sucks. I already have a flush going. And again, when you're drinking something at 12% alcohol. What do you think was in this freaking train? Like, they had to just really tired with this mansion in my life. Uh, Alright, so... The hand is here. More than place of open with the ears. But can you follow him on the keys? It's like the easiest game of science says. It's the closest thing this level has to a boss fight, so I wish it had an actual boss fight. I've made this point many times, so I'm not gonna harp on it too much. I wish this game had actual boss fights, but I don't mind it too much because the game makes up for it by having one of the best final boss fights in the game. And since I will be very drunk by the time I get up to it, I predict that I will die a lot. No bad, bad, but now watch me. Copy this turn and I'm amazed I'll be. You like this weird car? I think I'm just doing it right away. So, people in the chat, what are some of your favorite Banjo Kazooie memories? Or just drinking while gaming memories? Be sure that we all have those. We need to steal the mighty fine. So, take the golden piece of mine. Sure thing, not sad. I was really sad when he got killed by uh, Salieri. Yeah. It's a great movie, by the way. Check it out sometime. Hold on to dance. One of the best movies ever made. Hello! Yeah, huh? <laughs> okay, take it back. The controls in this game are on screen. Alright, I'm playing this bad now. I guess click on the button. It's a cast pin. Do I really only have three levels? What else do I have to do? I got... And I don't remember offhand how to get up there. Oh, that's right. Um, I don't remember the rule offhand whether or not we said to take a shot further until the switch. But we definitely, once we get that, we will do it. 
For now, though, eh, we can live. Well, then again, the other part of me says, what makes you think you're allowed to not take a shot? Hmm? Hmm? Huh? 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 <laughs> ah, there's Zai. Taking double shots to the ginger. Let's just get that out of the way. Now I have to go open up all the parts of the How many, how many jiggies total do I have? And we'll see how that goes out. I do know I, I need to. Uh... Hey, wait a minute. I need three left. The well. I think I got all the gingers to last time to begin with, didn't I? I need to do the well. There's like the one in the um All the remaining ones are stuff you get from the pumpkin. Holy shit. I don't need to do this crap. Especially now that I'm foregone in all the all the gingos. I already got one. Of the I'm going to fucking die, dude. Hey, oh my god! There we go. There we go. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not out doing my record at this point. Right. I need to leave the level as a pumpkin to see how I'm doing correctly. Time to turn into the pumpkin. Uh, ooh. Delicious. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I remember I filled the pot. If I only have three left, that means I probably did the uh, other shit too. Alright, so just do the stuff in the mansion and go to the well. Then I can so, do 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 there are so few video games that have ever had this consistently great of a soundtrack. Like, every single piece of music is so catchy. Actually, that's one thing I love about the pumpkin. Watch. I, well, wait. When I jump, you see his head fall off. See? That is cool. I need to get one. I'm 
Son of a bitch, fuck me. I need to go back to Monday. Hey, my brother, my brother left his dog with me for uh, a week. So, and I say dog in a very loose and simple word, which is actually a cat trapped inside of a dog's body. And she growls every time I try to touch it. Look. Uh. 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 <laughs> Such a sweet tempered dog. Hi, <laughs> Duke. Probably the ghost, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, or a ghost, most likely. And that's actually something Banjo Tooie did, is having a good gallery of boss life. And I don't think Banjo Tooie is as good as the first one, that should be low. But still, it's really fun. And I need to get in here. Um, I don't remember how that is. There's supposed to be a little thing around here. Little hole I need to squeeze a pumpkin in and squash, and that is what she said. And I did it on purpose. <laughs> Get in there! I don't remember. Run! Shit. Come on, come on! You see, this is why having an attack as a transformation would be very fucking useful! I'm. Oh, there we go. There we go. Do 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 or like Freddy Krueger, Jason, I don't fucking know, just anything but this! Or a bat. Ooh, that would be cool. <laughs> I would kill for like an M-rated banjo because the only where you get to play is like Michael Myers from Halloween. Or like Pinhead from Hellraiser and just like shoot out hooks. To, like rip apart enemies and fucking tits. Oh, good times. Good times. This is way harder than it should be. God 
damn it! I'm used to like Link running around where he like takes forever to move any anywhere, and now I'm playing this. Or in uh, At World's End, where the controls are way too sensitive. The movement control, we get coming up and move still as shit. I got a bad dude. Which, by the way, that's still for on sale for eBay because it's the best game ever made. You should go totally buy it and like pay me an outrageous amount of money so I can buy more booze, so I can do more Banjo Al Kazooie or Banjo Al Kooli. Which that doesn't have the same ring to it, but. That's a real. Oh god, and the last two levels in this game. Are, well, the last two main levels, just two, uh, you know, story based levels after that, are so contingent on good butter. I'm going really to get my ass kicked. Especially once I start drinking more. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, finally! to the king, baby. I like how his voice clips are farts. I am going down the proverbial large intestine of this house. I don't even... Ugh. Can you imagine this game being remade in HD with like actual, like, shit graphics? Not like shit as in bad, I mean shit as in that looks like actual shit. Need to break open. I was about to say, do I need to turn back into Banjo to break open the windows? But I don't. Because the other one's in the well and the other one's down the drain pipe, so. I'm good! Moving on! When you hear me sing this song, we'll just move along, move along, move along! Don't you listen to me sing this song? Move along, move along, move along. Uh, I was planning on doing this yesterday, by the way, but as I mentioned, I had a triple shift on Sunday, so it's like, you don't fucking want to, while your body's still recovering from that, you do not want to drink, let alone drink four Logan. You can drink, like, uh, you know, a beer, a beer, a little you know, Jack and Coke, but, you know, not, not something that's going to wreck your shit. Now I'm 
No, not yet. Not yet. <sighs> I really wish I was playing as anything that was about fucking right now. I'm combining Joe. Yeah, now that it seems like we're near the end of the retro revival, I really, it really sucks you've got a proper band of three. Like, well, I hear that's what ukulele is supposed to be, but I feel like that makes sense. Either way, I got every cheeky in this level! Ah. Now I'm buzzed. Oh, yeah. Normally I would try collecting all these notes, but Popping the record. So I'm just gonna get the fuck out of this mansion. Grounds place now. And uh, entering the next level is a process, if I remember correctly. Because you have to like raise the water level a few times. Especially if you want to get Cheeto. But still. Actually the next level was my is, was always my least favorite level in the game. It's grown on me over the years, but the first time I played it, I was like, yeah, this sucks. But then I played actual really bad video game levels, and now it's not nearly as bad anymore. Worst level in video game history will always be, to me, uh, excuse me, uh, where's one man that always makes me want to play video game again? I think I actually have, like, a profile in it. Hold on one second. Oh, um, the, uh, Kirby game on the Wii, when you have to do the train, that is the worst level in video game history for me. And the fact that I can't even outrun these fucking things when I'm this small is such bullshit! Ah, oh, finally. <sighs> you know what the worst part about the pumpkin transformation is? This is like one of my favorite overworlds ever in a game. Guess what the transformation for the overworld is? The pumpkin. Yeah, you actually need to be, uh, you need to leave this level as a pumpkin in order to proceed. There's no other way to do this. Think about that. You need to be the pumpkin in order to Fuck it, we're going to take a shot for, uh, raising the water level. Now, there's two ways to go from here. Um, the one I did when I first played this game is that you can raise the water level even higher, and then you have to enter a uh, rusty bucket play, which is the next stage in the water. Or, you could, uh... It's not in season, but god, I love pumpkin spice food, it's so fun. But, uh, so you can either raise the water level even higher and just enter a rescue bucket bay underwater, or you can keep it at that level and just go through platforming ways. Uh, which is what, um, because there's like another way to open up the, uh, puzzle. You'll see what I mean. I'm gonna go to the underwater ways uh, this time to show you them. But before we do that, we're going to go to Cheeto again. I'm not actually gonna use this cheat code because fuck that. I just actually want to show you guys these secrets. Because yeah, it's really I still remember so many secrets and like last time I discovered a brand new one that I never realized was there before. That's what I love about this game. There's like so many little things like that. Those little details just add so much. 
And like the infamous stop and swap secret, which sucks that it was never fully utilized. It's like just one of those things that like endures in video game history for like creating so many things just confuse the shit out of audiences. No! Oh well. We'll say again. But yeah, so few games like have ever like enthralled me like this, where they just have so many little Easter eggs where you're not thinking they are. But like But the difference between this and say something like uh, GTA is that this is all on the surface. That it's not a very long game on its own. Like GTA, it's like, oh, it's a big fucking city. Of course it's gonna be Easter eggs. Here, there's like a pretty straightforward game, but there's just so many little details. I left audiences puzzled for years. I left gamers puzzled for years, and it's like that's so cool to me. Just the level of passion present is wonderful. Supposedly there was supposed to be like some scrap levels that they later made into their Oh great. And if I remember Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna show you guys Cheeto. Because... <laughs> No, fuck it, I am. I'm gonna go back to Mad Monster Mansion, turn into the pumpkin again, just so I can show you guys Cheeto, because fuck it, I owe it to you guys, because you are awesome. All five of you who are watching this right now. On both Twitch and YouTube. And I mean five of you combined, not five each. <laughs> That's how bad my life sucks. Either way! <laughs> <laughs> um, so, if anyone in the chat is watching this, what time do you usually watch streams? Do I want to, uh, would you prefer to watch a stream when you're free, or would you prefer to watch one, like, where the hook interacts with the stream? Because I'm thinking of, like, doing it so I can archive these and, uh, just post them later. Though the catch with doing that is that if I did that, um, you wouldn't be able, I wouldn't be able to interact with the stream that much, with the chat. So please, tell me, uh, what, what do you guys think? Which would you rather prefer? I'm curious to know. Yeah, I'm buzzed. If I was sober, I would be able to make that. But because I am buzzed, I did not. And that's not me making excuses, by the way. Like, legit, I'm starting to feel it. In case you're thinking, oh, you're such a lightweight. Well, you try doing it without having, with only having, like, five Ritz crackers for breakfast. Oh, I love my off days. The life of the freelancer is never over. Which I don't want you guys to get the wrong impression, like, this is all I do. Like, no, like, usually, I most of my jobs are, like, either late afternoon or night, and it gives me the opportunity to game during the morning, which is why usually I'm gaming during the morning. But I could schedule the streams to be later in the day, if that's what you uh, would rather prefer. In fact, like, tomorrow, I have a gig at, like, uh, 7. And then Thursday, I have one at noon, so I won't be able to do that. But yeah, tomorrow I have a gig, like, later in the day, so I'll be like, yeah, fuck it, during this morning, I'll just play Wind Waker. Because, like, why not? It's a great game. And I have free time, and it's easy going. Getting on the train, I'll search for jobs, because I can't play my Wii U on the train. <laughs> Um, yeah, but please mention, what games would you like to see on stream? Um, like, see me play drunk, is the question. Like, I could post, uh, like anything from, like, old school PS2 and N64. That's usually my wheelhouse. Though I don't know how many of them you can make into a drinking game, like, Ocarina of Time, one of the, probably the greatest game ever made, like, it's like the godfather of gaming. I don't know how to make a drinking game out of that, maybe every time you kill something, I don't know. But we could try.
I'm gonna show you guys how to get the cheat. Oh, I wanted to see what the rhyme was. Right there. So I'm doing this so terrible. Like this is this kind of old school game is not what you want to be doing. But now it's starting to sober up. It's been a while since I've gotten some. So we will we shall change that once we get the uh Jiggy and the Ay 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 <sighs> Yeah, I think this much trouble getting to him the second time. I don't even want to imagine how I'm gonna do it the third time. Yeah, there's three uh Cheetos by the way. That's actually why I like this one a little bit more than Banjo Tooie. Is that one, it's more streamlined, but also like Like there's a lot like all the hidden stuff you have to sort of find in the castle. You don't find it like like in Banjo Tooie, it's sort of like find the Cheeto pages that bring it back to Cheeto who's in X location, like who's in, you know, the lair. This one, no, you have to find Cheeto to begin with. Or like opening the world. They're hidden, like, all over the map in this one. In the second one, you just go back to the same place every time, which, you know, it's, I, I kind of like it better here, where you have to sort of explore uh, Grantobo's lair to find it all. Almost there! Almost there! Almost there! Almost there. Got, got it! What's up, Cheeto? How you doing, buddy? Cheeto Baron Bird has found once more another spell day yet. I speak like Yoda. One more page, I see you turn, then Grunty shall Cheeto burn. As the witch is told, told I shall tell. And the red feather on the sun got the floor in a treasure trove. Okay. Can't you get here any faster? Come and fight me. I'm the master. I love Gruntilda. One of the best villains of all time. That's actually the other reason why I like this better than Banjo Tooie. Is that Gruntilda has more of a presence in this game. Like in the second one, you sort of forget that she's there after a while. Here, you see her everywhere. She keeps talking to you. She's a much more interesting. She's a much more like present villain. Well. Oh well, that makes my life easier anyway. Oh, uh, before I move on, I want to show you guys another great secret. Is that every time you start up this game, you, know, you can't unlock this until you beat Treasure Trove Co. Every time you start up this game, you start off in Grantoto's Lair, right? So, you remember at the beginning there was the Spiral Mountain tutorial stage? Well, what if I told you there was a secret in Spiral Mountain? Hmm? You're not likely to find it because it's outside the main overworld. It's just a tutorial level. But if we go back to the very beginning of the game, I mean the very beginning, like say uh, Banjo's house. Um, oh, is that a photo of bottles? Which somehow Banjo never had them before, even though I have a photo. And where's Tootie? Tootie look? Either way. Ah, I'm gonna take a closer look at that. Well, yeah. A little closer. Well, hey! Damn straight. Or maybe. Now watch this. And this was the prototype for the uh, for the open world mini game in uh, Banjo Tooie. But it starts here, and it's just a little unlockable. And there's like ten of these, and it is so cool. I love this. And let's see if we can solve the puzzle. And like, actually, there's so many of these too. Like, they have several. And it's like such a cool little uh, detail that makes the game so good. I just 
just now realized I'm looking at my OBS uh, window and I should be looking at my Elgato window because that has a better frame rate. And then I have the OBS window over there, so I can look at my face and think I'm check the stream still going good. Now I'm back in action. Which, by the way, this does nothing, in case you're wondering, but you get, uh, you get cheat codes for doing this, which is really cool. I think I figured out you could, like, play as the washing machine, which... In Manager 2, it was more of a full-fledged, uh, thing, but in this one, it's just some kind of, like, a little neat, uh... I will take a shot for winning the mini game. Oh shit! Uh, I need to get my charger. Once that. shit to do on your board, you do that, and that's awesome. I am now feeling it. I almost tripped going up the stairs. Ow. Mario, right, come here. Come show up on screen. <laughs> hey, it's a dog. But she is actually a bitch. <laughs> um, I don't know that joke and relationships, two things you never talk about on stream. Get that one in the eye. I need to do the uh, thing again. Oh, 
I'm now in the uh, snowman level, snowman area. Thankfully, it's much better than the actual movie, The Snowman. Which I uh, watched, which by the way, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, please watch my top 10 worst movies of 2017 because you know, it was a fun video to do. And <laughs> the only tough place I could get for watching movies like The Snowman. They used to take me so many tries when I was little. What? What? Why do I talk all the time? Did I can make the other one of these guys yet? That's a no. Of course I did, but I didn't raise the water level. Yeah, that's the thing. This guy warps you ahead two rooms. Like, it's really unnecessary. And how is water not spilling out into the rest of the lair? I make fun of this game because I love it. Okay, so I'll show you, like, uh, there's a, uh, there's another switch in this area, which is the entrance to the next level, or you can go down here and you'll see there's a entrance to the grade that allows you to open the next level so you can keep the water level at this level. Um, I didn't realize you could do the second one until the second time I played this game, so like the entire first time I played it, I it was permanently stuck underwater. So that always made me laugh. I always wondered how, like, that happens. But... Look, we trying to bring logic into Pantry to Zoe. It's a bear with a bird on its back, and he doesn't eat it. Oh, oh, Yeah, this is Rusty Bucket Bay, the pollution-themed level, and I always hate this one for you. But maybe the years have made me kinder. Probably not, though. See, he literally, look, he warps you ahead two rooms. Like, the other ones warp you halfway across the lair. But, if I just go over here, do that. Ta-da. Oh, wait. Shit. I just wasted that. But I won't have to read the cheetah girl full time. Alright, into Rusty Bucket Bay. Which this music 
So fucking catchy. <laughs> Which, as I mentioned, this level is pollution themed, so I'm going to go uh, get the first Jinjo who's over here. My oily water is in your lunch. You don't lose air. Wow, that gosh. Yeah, you lose air at like double the rate. This is why I always hate this level. And, um, there's a lot of shit that you have to go underwater to get. And you know what's even worse? When you're above the water, you still lose air. It gets polluted, but shit. <laughs> See, this level, um, in the 90s, there was, like, this big push for environmentalism. And I always thought this game did it probably the best, because they don't be like, oh, if you don't, you know, save the rainforest and stop poisoning the water, you're evil. This game made it into a joke. Like, look at these idiots who are poisoning the water. Am I making it so that you die when you're in the water? Uh... Oh, I always hate this. Yeah, I know where one of the empty honeycombs is, I know where one of the gingers is, and I cannot really do this. So I might as well get it out of the way now, rather than later, where I'm more likely to die and lose a bunch of shit, so let's just get this out of the way. Um, a good power for this, uh, transformation of this level would be something that could swim in the water without losing air. I don't know what freak creature would do that, but it would be a good one. Which, by the way, this part is another part that actually scares me when I was running fly. You remember that shark from Treasure Trove, though? Did you think you were never going to see him again? Well... Come on! Dude! My heart is racing out of my chest! Uh. You know where one of the other J where one of the empty hunters is in there. I don't want to go over there. Actually, let's see if I can kill the shark. You'll breathe your last. Because air is used twice as fast. Where's the freaking. Where is it? Oh, come on. Come on. Oh. This is way too stressful. That's a shit, so I don't have to deal with shark anymore. Uh, ooh, that was that was a good belch. Probably shouldn't have been this uh, practice today, so that way.
Yeah, there's a bit of a lag on OBS, which is why I switched over to my Elgato. Which, for those of you not knowing, Elgato is the name of the capture card I'm using. Please let Snacker not be there. Please, I want to get out of here so bad. Shit, 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 shit. <gasps> come on, come on, get up, move, move. <sighs> That's the thing, he doesn't even take that much damage away, but every time I go into water and he's there, I get really scared. <laughs> it is so stressful with that Jaws music. Whew! Anyway, uh, this is uh, another level that actually has a boss fight. Too. Only Gobi's Valley and uh, Mad Mox can actually don't have boss fights. Although, again, the boss fight isn't anything. Yeah, I mean, it's actually one of the better ones, I guess. But, again, nothing that great. Oh, sweet. I forgot that was there. When I was a kid, I always thought this was the worst level. But now that I'm older, I'm like, yeah, it's actually pretty fun because it's a good, um, it's a good like uh, near the end of the game level. Not a big fan of the extra air usage thing, but you know, if there was a transformation that lets you circumvent that, I feel like this would be better. Like if there was a mumble transformation this level. But oh well. I always found that hilarious. Like you can leave while above the water. But let's look at this guy while I'm down here. I'm trapped. Help get this thing off of me. Yeah, this actually, uh, this stage has the least amount of uh, characters you need. There's only this dolphin and the boss, and that's about it. Everyone else. Everyone else, there's like several characters you meet, like a Mad Monster Mitch. You met the ghoul. You met the uh, Tumblr. Here, it's just the dolphin and the uh, boss knight. Which gives a lot to show, to make the level feel a lot more hostile, I guess. Ba, 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 ba. I'll say, I think this level is better than the factory one in Bandit 3, at least. I don't have say much, but still. Oh, Thanks, guys! I found this earlier. It's yours. Whee! Squee! I wish, like, the rest of my, uh, computer was light, so that way, whenever I try to turn up the brightness on my monitor, I don't feel like I'm going to snowblind. Yeah, can, swimming controls on the N64 weren't the best, except for in Majora's Mask. This, I loved playing as a sword in that game. And uh, Majora's Mask is my favorite game ever, for those who don't know it. Actually, maybe that would be a good uh, Drunken Malek play. I, I haven't played that uh, since I, like, since I think sophomore year of college. So, it might be time for another go-through. I played Ocarina of Time this past uh, summer again. Because, um, well, you'll see someday. Maybe not anytime soon, but someday you'll see why. Okay. You know, I take it back. I actually am having fun here. Like, this is a good level. Oh, this game is just good. It's, a, it's not. It's a great game. Like, if you ever played Banjo Kazooie, uh, I don't know where it is these days. Um, I wouldn't recommend that game right here because that's really good. I think it might be shut down, but by all means, like, uh, 
here's the thing. So, with, when it comes to emulators, I don't mind it for like some of the older uh, 16 and 8 bit games because the controls are stiff already. This one, you need like some sort of joystick in order to make it work. But, uh. Yeah. If you can find a way to play Banjo Kazooie, whether it's on like, uh. I think it's on Xbox Live or Virtual Console. Definitely check it out. It's worth your time and money. It's really a good game. What am I personally top five uh, games of all time? Top three, even. Honestly, I think it's my second favorite behind the door. So much fun you can play while drunk. Or buzz, in my case. Though I intend to be drunk by the time this stream is over. Just walking my dog around the fields while I'm plastered, it's a truly magical experience. I always remember getting that ginger used to be for that half of the Okay. After, I'm doing it a bit different. Usually I explore the ship first, and then I do the uh, harbor. Here I'm doing the harbor first, and then I'm going to explore the ship. The trick here is that you have to keep jumping through the water. If you try to, like, swim through it, you won't die. Dude, I just let you back in, okay? Come on, man. Come on. Come here. Dude, come here, buddy. <laughs> oh, who's my buddy? Who's my buddy? Give a give a like in the comments if you enjoy seeing my dog crash my screen every time I play a game. I just like hey. Okay, so true to form, after letting him back in, he immediately wants to go back out. I'm sure in five more minutes he's gonna to want to come back in again. I'm gonna keep playing music for change. Ah. And the point being that that was a that was a pretty pussy ass belt. I need to do better. I know I can do better than that when it comes to belts. You know what this stage is? It's like the uh, Clayford's Cavern level on crack. So we can get it later. <laughs> God bless Grant Kirk and his music. Oh shit. Oh, I missed time the fuck out of that. Unlock bomb! Oh, sweet. I just get everyone to suicide bomb and get an extra life. This is my 72 virgins. Promise to me in there. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna make that joke, both because one, it's a little dicey, two, every scam comedian has made that joke. I'm above that. Come on. Like, the infamous joke, of course, is that, like, oh, 72 virgins, why not get 72 women who know what the fuck they're doing? Like, eh. That's just me, man. Ahoy! I really wish I was drunk right now. Oh, I was wondering where the blue ginger was. I know where the orange ginger is, so... And now it's down my search. 
He's at the end of the harbor, by the way. I think I'm going to get him last. Or second to last. Because you can't, like, the toll for this next bridge coming up is on the other side. So I need to actually, like, need to go onto the ship to get to it. I wouldn't call it a bad game. It's not a bad game, so I'm just, you know, whatever. Which, uh, by the way, in case anyone's wondering, no, this is not emulated. This is actually my N64 copy that I am using. Somehow I can get better quality strapping my N64 to stream than my PS2, which is more advanced software. I don't know how the fuck that works, but yeah, it works. Either way, we're going on to the ship. This is actually one thing I did like better in Magic 2. The swimming controls are a lot better. Uh, not the main swimming controls, but you can get a power up that one lets you swim faster. Two, when you get to play, there's a transformation that exists only underwater called the submarine, and it is fucking awesome. Actually, yeah, the transformations as a whole are better in Banjo Tooie. Like, I think just about every transformation in that game is better than the one in this one. The ones in this game. Go down there. I always love the music inside the ship. It's so, like, nice, relaxing sea, sea shanty tune. Up, Ooh, actually, Medal of Honor Frontline. There's another game I can live stream that, that I could be from. Dude, I, that's another uh, personal favorite of mine. Kingdom. I'm just going to list off some of my personal favorite games of all time, and then if anyone in the chat is interested, or anyone in the comments section, mention what you would like to see me make an ass out of myself, drinking Four Loco or Jack and Coke. While playing a long live stream. We're playing with friends. Um, the N64 Zeldas, Banjo Tooie, Donkey Kong 64, um, Kingdom Hearts 1, Resident Evil 4, Medal of Honor Frontline, the Jack Trilogy, Okami, Donkey Kong Country Returns. I think that's a good list to start with. Uh, anything else? You kind of got a feel for what I'm into from there. Like that, those uh, era of games. I'll do the boss later. Let's go for the front of the ship here. Okay, so there's a code here. I'm supposed to find the code somewhere on deck. And though I never figured out, there's the smallest difference between the windows you can crack and the windows you can't. And here's another stop and swap thing. It's supposed to be on that bed, but it's not anymore. Because I got it a long, long time ago. God, I was like in middle school when I did this shit. And I'm like, I'm pushing 25 now. Oh, no! I don't like getting old! Hi! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, I need to find where the, uh, where the code is. I, I always love that animation on like the evil pipe. Watch. <laughs> it looks like a snake and it's really cool. And crew barracks. Is there anything in here for me, or is it just like a little item? Is there a mumbo token in here? I need to come up to 25 before I can get anything. Yeah. Or I can do click clock wood. What's another uh, game I'd be willing to play? Trump? What the hell are you for? Paper Mario 1. There's another great game. One I would be willing to play. Alright, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1. It doesn't randomize, by the way. No matter how many times you play this game, it'll always be 3 one 2 one, one, one. All right, sweet, let's go. All right, all right, all right, let's go. Three. One. Two. One. 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 Bayonetta. That's another good game I can play drum. 
holy shit. Bayonetta while drunk. And I mean, like, not drunk. I mean, blackout. That would be nuts. I would love to do that. Which, by the way, Bayonetta 2 is coming up soon. As soon as I beat uh, one of the games I'm playing right now, then I can have a schedule slot freed up and play Bayonetta 2. Which I hear is phenomenal. I got it. I'm sure it's phenomenal. Like, Bayonetta 1 was already amazing. So I'm actually curious how the superior sequel is. So, they like new combos, uh, a better villain. Which the villain was cool in the first game, but I would kill for a new one. Actually, I want to play. Ooh. Talking about it gets me excited now. Yeah, that's next. After I beat Banjo Al Kazooie, this time slot will be filled up by uh, Bayonetta 2. And it'll be amazing. Yeah, it's so funny. Like, I got a Wii U just to play, like, some, um, some of the games that are on the, uh, that I want to play, like, Bane 2, uh, Hyrule Warriors, and etc. And then, um, which I'll also play that someday, but it'll be a little while. But, um, then, literally, like, uh, less than a year after I got the Wii U, they announced the Switch coming out. <laughs> Which sucks. So I'm gonna like keep playing my Wii U for a little bit to make it work. Honestly, the Wii U was kind of weird because it wasn't a bad system. It just wasn't marketed very well. It wasn't any better than the Wii. It's just like that huge ass gamepad that no one really liked all that much. I don't even like all that much, and I actually enjoy the Wii U. Once again, like true to Nintendo's form, the games that are they don't have a lot of games, but the ones that are there are fucking phenomenal. Like, the N64 is a perfect example. Like, the, the PS1 had more games, more third-party support, but, like, the games that the N64 had were some of the best games and most revolutionary games ever made. Like, this game, uh, Ocarina of Time is usually, like, the godfather of games. Like, it was so revolutionary and so amazing. So it's like... What do you value more? I went in there already, right? right. Okay, I'm coming! Molly, come here! Come here! Come on the stream! Come on the stream, Molly! I swear to God, like, this dog has dog autism. Like, and I don't mean that in the mean way, okay? I fucking hate when people say, oh, autism is bad. Now, like, I mean you're antisocial but wicked intelligent. That's this dog. She is very antisocial. But she is kind of smart. Or at least she thinks she's smart. She actually, like, she actually does fulfill some of the, uh, major... Uh, requirements for Asperger's Syndrome. Which, okay, for, and let me just say this, like, and I'm saying this, like, for a serious diagnosis, and I'm only comparing it to people drunk. If you ever use, like, Asperger's or autism as an insult, you are seriously the worst kind of person. I will not regret laughing at your misfortune, because you are a piece of shit. And I hope you want to have but, okay. <laughs> that never gets old to me. I love that. I just love that shit. Come on. Thank you, Grant Kirkpole, for making such a great soundtrack. And I didn't... And the ship is indeed called the Rusty Bucket. You wonder why it's called Rusty Bucket Bay? That's why. Ooh, Mario 64. That's another great game I can play on. Actually, I just realized I also have another team class still in that game is over. Uh, would you guys rather see an NES game or another N64 game? Leave your thoughts in the, leave your thoughts in the comments or chat if anyone actually cares. Which I'm sure you do, because you, I care about you. <laughs> oh. I never knew, I don't know why I didn't get to this time soon. This is fun. Like, it gives you a chance to practice improv and play video games, which are my two great ones. Alright, top of the smokestack is another Jiggy. I'm 
saving the apology uh, for last, which is infamous for being just a fucking awful. I'm gonna watch a movie. <sighs> this is a good movie. Relax, work on some personal projects, watch a movie tonight for the next on the Oscars video, which, uh, I'm sorry for the delay on this current one, I try to get one out, like, I try to get, like, the successor snub out the week after the, um, first one, but the reason why I'm waiting is because I want to do that top 10 version in 2017, which are you guys curious to see my, uh, favorites? I don't know if you, I'm kind of holding off on doing that, but, I don't know. I mean, I'd watch, um, I actually just want the spoiler alert, the top three are Detroit, Wind River, and, uh, Baby Driver. And none of them were nominated for anything, which goes to show why the Oscars are a stupid fucking organization. It's funny, everyone thinks, like, oh, you watch, you make that show on the Oscars, you must love the Academy. It's like, if you, why aren't you watching them this year? It's like, if you think that the point of my show is to celebrate the Academy, you are missing the fucking point. Also, just spoiler alert, uh, I do, if, as if you couldn't tell from watching my video or the actual movie itself, Cavalcade is just, I'm putting it in a snap category because it's a really fucking awful movie. But what movie deserved to win? Well, that's what you have to watch the video to find out. <laughs> Either way, this was, this is probably the hardest for Tilda Switch to hit in the game. Not even joking. Which, that's the other thing I thought, uh, Banjo Kazooie did better. I kind of like that, uh, the, um, the, uh, Jiggies in the Overworld were a bit more hidden. Rather than just doing the Jinjos. And also, supposedly, I don't like the rolling 90 instead of 100, or like 9 rolls instead of an even 10. But from what I understand, that was because Nintendo Nick's stop and swap order wanted to do it, so I get it. I don't like it, but I get it. I'm curious what the hidden world would have been. Which, for those of you who aren't aware, basically what happened was, um... What Stop and Swap was supposed to do, you would pause the game to stop it. And then you would, uh, swap out your game cartridges. So you were playing, uh, Banjo-Tooie, you would swap it out with Banjo-Kazooie. And then there would be an exploit using the RAM on the game that would allow you to, uh, unlock a new world. But Nintendo wasn't keen on people ripping out the cartridges while the N64 was running, so they put in a blockout chip that was Nixon's idea. So I am curious what the hidden world would have been. I don't know if it was used for Conker's Bad Fur Day or something, which if someone wants to donate that, I would be happy to play it on the stream. Just I don't want to sell like, a hippie just to buy a video game, because it costs like an outrageous amount of money just to buy. But, yeah, definitely, uh, I'd be interested. I'm interested to hear what. I always thought a train team probably would be cool for Banjo Kazooie. Like something where you can only use the train to uh, enter, and then you uh, use trains to get around. I think it would be cool. Either way, we're we're about to fight the boss. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to do something else first. Which is, uh, I'm going to get the Jinjo. I'm going to finish off the part. I am way too drunk to try to do that. I'm not even drunk, actually. I'm just sober. I'm not, I'm not, uh, okay, when I start talking like this, that's very you know what I'm buzzed. There, there we go. There's the word. That's a double gulp right there, bitches!
All right, we're about to fight the boss. Now, I'm going to show you, there's two ways to fight him. I'm going to show you the easy way now, and then you fight him again in uh, Grudge's Furnace Fun. He's one of two bosses in that stage, and that's where it gets harder. I'm going to show you the easy way today, because I have uh, the ability to do it. It's boss Boombox. You just enter his hold. Like this. The harder way is to not use the Wonder Wings, which I'm probably going to do in Grunty Spurn is fun, because you want to save the Wonder Wings for the actual final boss I mean, fighting in I digress. Moving on. So hang on, there's a propeller jiggy. What else do we need to get? I'm honestly surprised I haven't died yet during this stage, and I was dying all the time during Mad Monster Mansion. This is usually the level that kills me the most. <laughs> I love that so much, I don't know why. God, what I wouldn't kill. I would go, I would kill to do that Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind treatment. Just so I can play this game again for the first time. The level of like wonder and joy I have playing this game for the first time is just unparalleled. Or just most of my N64 games I played. Yeah, I really don't know what that does. I get controls it down a bit. Where's the other remaining G in this stage? Oh, that's right. There's one in there, and then you have to do another one to get into behind the propellers. Which I know the propellers are running if the ship ain't moving, but shows what I know. Oh, uh, what's another game we can play well to run? Yeah, I think I hit most of the game. Oh, Infamous 1. Not a big fan of 2, but 1 is a really great game. One of my favorites of the last generation. Muramata. Which is like, it's so Japanese and it makes it sound like such a weird move or like a, such a nerd fighting it, but like, it is so much fucking fun. You play Muramasa than Demon Blade, tell me you're, you don't have fun. It's such a great beat em up. Yep. This is the part that always killed me growing up. And I predict I'm going to die now. Holy shit, I didn't. Well, I'm gonna speak. I probably spoke too soon. Maybe I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> I am like so stressed out. Malito! Shut the hell up! No! Okay! I need 810 notes to beat the game. I currently have... I need a minimum of 70 in click clock wood in order to uh, beat the game. So, let's see how that goes. Do I need to deactivate the uh, thing again? Shit! Oh, it was fun to see the animation. Yeah, this always gave me so. Yeah, that's the thing. Everyone said this gives them so much trouble. 
but it does, but I never found it the worst, per se. I kept the one that's still released, right? Yeah, if you go into the smokestack, get that jiggy, then hit a switch, then you can get the jiggy behind the propeller. So, like, where I am, you have to, like, get there in a certain amount of time. And if you hit the propeller, you die in one hit. So, you know, one of those things. Which, by the way, I am getting a pretty... I'm, like, towing the line between Buzz and just drunk right now. Because, uh, um, I'm just feeling something right now. Like, what? Yep, okay. When it feels weird doing this, running my hands with my hair, that's how I know I'm drunk. Like, it just feels strange, touching my hair. But I'm not, like, plastered yet. Plastered is when, you'll know when I'm plastered, because I can barely speak or do anything. I would offer to play Mario Party drunk, because that's another personal favorite of mine, or Mario Party 2 and 3. But you need, but uh, I, my place where I live in is so much farther than anyone that I live out with. So it's like, I don't know how it works. Unless I invite like my brother on stream, which he probably would not be doing. Ooh, Smash Brawl. That's another game I could play while drunk. That, that I absolutely adore. Which, by the way, uh, did I hit the grumpy switch? I forget what it opened. Well, I'll get that on the way. Actually, I'll get it now. Yeah, okay, I hit it. I don't remember how he gets it. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually, and my dog wants back in again. I need to take a boost this really bad, so I'll be right back. Enjoy the music. this without dying. Ha 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 
I'm getting all 100 jiggies, mark my words. I am not gonna die sober. Donnie, get me the loot. I am not gonna die sober. Get me the fucking loot. Oh, what do you guys know about Wolf of Wall Street? It's great. It's one of the best movies ever made. Ahoy to you too, bitch. It's so funny. I was doing so great in this level up until this point, and now that I'm doing this, and now that I have like a uh, buzz go, now that I'm drunk, let me go and so good no more. God, seven o'clock tonight is going to suck. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> By the way, in case you're wondering, no, you can't, like, just walk. You can't just, like, do it once, die, and then respawn outside. You actually have to go get it. You actually have to, you know, do it. You, know, you, know, you, you know what I'm saying, okay? Morty, 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 Morty. You gotta, you gotta do this shit for me, Morty. You gotta... Yeah, I saw these seeds way up your butthole, Morty. <laughs> Morty. <laughs> uh, Rick and Morty's a great job. Alright. Now begins the tribulation. Come on, baby. Stop me. That's good. That's good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, people always say, like, oh, I'd like to see an HD remake of some shit. I would love to see, like, that's the thing. I never, I still have my copies of uh, Alchemy of Time and Majora's Mask on the N64, but I have seen uh, clips of them on the 3DS, and it's, like, it's so weird to see them have good graphics, and it blows my mind. It is, like, they're probably two of my favorite games ever, so it's just like, holy shit, they have perfect circles on them! Oh my god! Like, is that a perfect circle? I would love to see that shit with Magic Kazooie. At the same time, this game still looks good. Because it doesn't go for realistic, it goes for uh, cartoony. Cartoony still looks good. Oh god, that hurts. Drink out of your stomach, it hurts so bad. But the stream is funny, so you're gonna enjoy it. <laughs> oh, I can't even English anymore. Alright, one more level, then the final level, then the boss fight, then the final boss fight, which has a kind of its own level attached, but it's not a big level. You know what I mean! Okay, we're gonna keep going! Fuck it, we'll do it live! Uh, 
Let's see if we can get that cheat. Oh, it's right there. Okay, sweet. You don't have to get one more cheat, though. So, we're gonna try cheat out. I forget which way it is. It's not this way. This way. Where do I go from here? Anyone who's ever had a beard, had a mustache knows what I'm doing right now. It's like I'm sucking in the uh, Ford Loco out of my mustache. There we go. <laughs> Suck my luck. Sup, Cheeto? There, bud. How's the? Uh, how you doing, Yoda? Book Yoda. Book Yoda. Yeah, I'm gonna call him Book Yoda. That traitor book has pushed its lock. Now in the burning fire, I'll oh, chuck. Ah. Just to make life harder for myself, I'm not gonna enter any of the cards, even though I should probably uh, do that shit. <laughs> After that last step of four local, I am now officially drunk. Now I'm about to enter. It's the hardest level in the game, but it's also the best level in the game. Click Lockwood. I am so excited because it is one of my all time favorite levels ever in a video game. My top 10. Easy. Like, I love this upcoming stage so much. And you're about to find out why. Once I can actually get in there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh my god! It's two in the afternoon. I am so out of control. I remember it took me forever to figure out how to do this until I figured out I could just do that shit. Either way, we're up. We're up to the. I love the music. I love. Uh, I, I love the music here because it feels like you're near the end of the game. You're you've come to the end of a long journey now. Listen, this is like the final level before the end of the game. It feels great. I feel the bank gives me a rash. I never wash. I save my cash. That's a good way of living life, Grunty. <laughs> I'm cautious because I know the uh, boss is in the uh, enemy is over there. Alright. And the entrance to open up the clockwood is near the beginning of the game. And that is so cool. I just. I love this game so much. Alright, so I need to... Oh, wait! I have to go all the way back to the lair! Unless... Well, first, unless I get this... No, I'm gonna... I'll get that later. Where is it? Unless there is a warp cauldron! <laughs> Bet y'all didn't know that was there. Unless you played the game before, which you probably did, but still! Hey!
I'm not even joking when I say that this is, without question, one of my all-time, like, favorite levels in a video game history. You're about to find out why. I would say I would like a whole game, like, based off the mechanics of this level, but they did make one like that. It's called The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. <laughs> Uh, basically, it's based off of, like, the four seasons, like, like, each level in this game has a theme, so, like, there's the, uh, beach theme level, there's the jungle theme level, there's the water, swamp, like, everything's sort of generic, except for the four seasons of the year themed level, so you do something in spring, it affects something in summer, and fall and winter, um, you'll see what I mean soon enough. Yeah, I love this stage, and it's the one that I look forward to every time that I play this game. It is so creative, it's so cool, and I am like, I am so pumped to play it right now, and it is going to be great. But, um, do. See, there's spring, there's summer, there's fall, and there's winter. And it's the same thing in each level, but they change it to match the seasons. Either way, though, you need to unlock each one first, so let's go into spring. Da, 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 da. Which, by the way, I have never gotten all, like, 900 notes in this game because of this level, because it's close to impossible. I just need to get 70, which I know I'm capable of, so I'm going to do that. And now, once again, Banjo Kazooie has some great music, so just listen to it. Oh, there's a moon token. Everything feels so weird when they touch it. That's all I know. Alright, there's this guy over here. Alright, that's a summer job, by the way. How many? Right, I need six more Momo Tokens to unlock the B. That's the one thing that sucks about this stage. You can only use the B during the, uh. Of the birds. You only use the B during the spring. I wish you could use them during the fall season. Well, I guess you would die during the winter, but you know. You, you understand what I mean. I don't remember where the gingers are offhand, but I'm sure I'll find them. There's like, this is what I love about the stage, is that you have to sort of go from season to season. I know what I'm doing, so it's not going to take me as well. But the first time you do this, it's going to take you a while to figure out what you have to do, what you can't do, what you have to wait on. And it is so effing cool because of that, and I love it. It's so creative. And this music is so effing catchy. I remember the first time I got to this stage, I felt like, holy shit, like, I mean, I don't know, this is like, I feel like this one level is, like, bigger than all the other stages combined, which it might not look big that right now, but, like, imagine, uh, multiplying this four times over. That's how big the stage is. By far the biggest stage in the whole game. Like, by a long shot. Alright, uh... I need to wait on my a little bit. Which, uh, in case you're wondering why I'm waiting. 
Like, believe me, you need every Jiggy in the game in order to uh, get the one killed up. Like, it's something like 94 out of 100. So, yeah. There is a boss in this stage that's probably the best boss in the game, too. Not, a, not especially a great one, but, you know, still fun. I love this music so much. This is one of those moments like why I love video games. Like, you ever have one of those moments like why I love watching movies and you just watch a like, really great movie you're like, this is why I love it? Or uh, why I love reading books and you re after you read an especially good book? That's this level with me. Why I love video games. Even though I'm probably a bigger movie guy than I am a video game guy. But uh, it's called gaming.youtube.com. Not, uh. Alright, you can only fight the boss in the summer. But you can't get there during the spray if you play as the bee. Which is why I'm trying to get all the mumble tokens so I can use the bee out the way. The bee is needed for a couple things in the spray. But you can only do them during the spray, which sucks. Ah. Ten armpits! <laughs> That's smart of you, bitches! I don't remember where the summer switch is. It's somewhere on the tree. But yeah, this is another great, like, it's a giant ass tree with, like, so many little things around it. And, like, there's different levels, so you can fall and you can die, which makes it great for, like, the final level. Or one of the final levels, I should say. So I could, like, write an essay on how much I love this game. In fact, I, I actually think I should do like a top one of our favorite video games from our time list. Maybe someday. Once I get like once the uh, once I get enough people who view my videos on a regular basis to actually make that venture worthwhile. <sighs> Alright, there's this on the switch. Yeah! Thank you. My tongue is missing the taste of poor local. I need another. I need to find either a ginger or something. Which I know where one of the gingers is, but I need to uh, be the bee again. Hey, Nabnut. How you doing, buddy? Alright, just need one more mumbo token. Let's see if I can get one more in the spring season. And I can be the bee. And I love playing as the bee. He's even that's the thing. Like usually in most video games like they recycle the same thing and it's like not as good the second time around. They actually the bee is great in this game. And then they somehow made him even more fun in Bandit 2. Do you have any idea how rare that is? Yes, yes! I found another mumbo token! Fuck yeah! Alright, I get to play them as the bee as soon as I get down off the tree. But first, I need to go uh, do this shit. Oh, I can just do this real quick. Let's go to the bee first. My bramble field makes you yell. I lost some life. It sure does help. Oh, I'm drunk. Alright, let's go! Hey, Mumbo, what's up, buddy? Twenty-five on the top. I love playing as B. B is best get. Yeah, it is, buddy. You can like do anything you want with this thing, and I love it. You can like you can fly without needing the uh, feathers. Is pretty much what it does. But also, you can stand in those. Uh, did you see those Venus fly traps in here earlier? You can stand in those without losing damage. It is great. Ha! I'm gonna fly all the way to the top of the level. You can't stop me. There's actually a jiggy way up here somewhere. I don't know where, but it's up here. There's actually a few jiggies up here. Okay. 
Which actually, uh, this is the only game, if I were to do more drunken than these, this is one of a handful of games I would be willing to do uh, 100% on. Like, Donkey Kong 64, I love that game. I think doing 100% on that once is good enough for me. Like, getting all 200 jigs on that game is fucking redonkulous. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done. Alright, Jinjo, ahoy! That's not the Jinjo. Oh, fuck! Shit, it needs to be the fucking thing again. Alright, we'll do that later. Who's up as our garden grunts his golden honey piece? Yeah, these are the bosses, by the way. You're supposed to fight them in the summer. Right now, though, the spring spender can axe it. Yeah, only the bee can. But do you know what the bee can do? Let's get that. Ha <laughs> ha! If I remember correctly, like, the gingers are evenly spread out from season to season, and it's, like, fitting for each one. Yellow is in fall. No, yellow is in summer. Orange is in fall, and blue is in winter. Makes perfect sense. All right, so I need to get back to the top of the tree to open that thing, and get the bee in there, and yeah, and also hatch the uh, bird. I can go to summer. Getting the empty honeycomb from this level is hard as shit, by the way. But you'll see. Change me back, Mumbo! Come here, dude! Come, come here, buddy! Oh, it's a dog. It's a dog. I think my wife said earlier, I am now officially drunk! Uh, oh shit, I need to get more, um... I need to get more, um... That thing. That stuff. You know, for a level this big, I do kind of miss the award pads that they had in, uh, uh Donkey Kong 64 and, uh, Banjo Tooie. But again, I think only this level really needed them. The, uh, the rest of the game, you could have. The rest of the game is small enough that it doesn't really need it. But, but uh, I like that they update those slugs to birds, and they're actually a little hard to kill. And there's a Jiggy over that way. I probably should have gotten while I was playing as a bee, but you can also get a banjo during the spring, I recall. You can get him during the spring, technically, but it's going to be really hard to turn out the lead with just those tiny ass little bugs. I love this stage so much because it's so creative. It's like, in any other hand, it could be lazy, but because they, like, it is the same level four times, but because they change so much between each of the four times, it actually makes it a very unique level. And you have to sort of, uh, think, okay, this is what changed from stage to stage. Let me adjust my platforming strategy accordingly. That's how you know I'm drunk when I keep repeating the same shit again and again. I love this game. It's so beautiful. It's a wonderful game, and everyone should play it at least once. If you did grow up with it, you're probably going to be wondering, oh, what makes it so great? But, like, 
It was so ahead of its time. It's so great, and it's so... It's just... It's Banjo-fucking-Kazooie. And you know what? It is great. And I'm going to hatch the fuck out of this eagle. I thought you know I have a very angry mind. So I'm like, no, let me hatch the eagle. It's like, no, I'm going to hatch the fuck out of this eagle. Mommy, you eagle next week, Oh, God. I need to open that door. <laughs> That's for a local flim right there. And I am disgusting, I am know it, and I enjoy it. And I am proud of the fact that I am disgusting. Because you know what? Disgusting people are not are unique. No. I'm just joking. Okay, if you ever meet me on the street and I ask you to go out with me, don't do it. It's a terrible skin. Unless you want just some quick uh, fun. In which case, go for it. I'm not that bad. I'm good for fun. At least that's what they tell me. It feels, I don't know why, it always felt like the Dreaded came full circle when you see that bowl again. Because you haven't seen him since Bumbo's Mountain. And then you're near the end of the game and you see him again. In fact, I actually remember the first time I got to Click Clock Wood, I got so freaking excited. Because I always played this game a lot when I was really little. I could never get very far. I think the farthest I got was Clinker's Cavern. And then, like, now I'm up to Click Clock Wood, the final level in the game. And it's like, holy shit, I might actually beat it for the first time. When I beat it for the first time, it was so, it felt so great. Either way, we're gonna get that fucking jiggy up in that tree, bitch! There, now we're gonna get it. Again, that's how angry my mind is. I'm not like, oh, let's go get that jiggy. It's like, we're gonna fucking get that jiggy, bitch! <laughs> oh, I'm such a degenerate. Alright, let's see, where is it? It's in here somewhere. I know it is. Oh, sweet. After a while. Now here's the thing. While the bee is really fun to go uh, flying around Click Clock Wood with, uh, you're gonna find out the one sucky part of it. So I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, go on to summer. I can get it during the winter, because, you know, bees die during the winter, but... Yeah, I need to find, uh, five caterpillars now. Actually, there's a bunch of shit I need to do now. There's, like, a bunch of shit you can get during the summer. Because the leaves are the biggest theory they are, and the grass is the tallest that it is. And I just got another Jinjo, so take a shot. Is 
what you're asked to do. I actually like how the uh, these guys actually change their uh, their costumes from season to season. Like you see, he was like wearing swim trunks there. Hey, naughty, what's up? Sure. I was, I didn't realize until recently he's actually a boss in Donkey Kong Country, and that was a good idea. Rare always loves those uh, little references to their other games. Uh, and I can't get there in there until the winter, until the fall, actually. But if you go there during the winter, you can get Jiggy and the empty honeycomb. So I might wait till then. We shall see. I didn't need another boost just really bad, so I'm gonna go and I'll be right back. the battle animations. Uh, I don't enjoy feeling drunk at 2.30 in the afternoon, but you know, that's the price I pay. Let us proceed. Oh my god. <laughs> Again, normally a poor loco won't do this to you. But, if you drink a poor loco on a relatively empty stomach, it will do this to you. Fuck you, bird. Ah, uh, yes! Hey, it's my buddy! Oh no! It's you two again! I thought he was safe here! <laughs> I love that. You just fucking torture this poor camel. Yeah. the eagle anyway Yo, Anto, Yo, Go Anto, 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 I already got the I don't need <laughs> Alright, what's up? Yeah, I don't need that anymore. Okay, so the, if I go this way, I get a jiggy. So I'm gonna go this way so I can get another jiggy and another piece of more for loco, and then you guys can get drunk with me. 
assuming you're the kind of degenerate like me who does this shit on Tuesday at 2.30 in the afternoon. Which, hey, you know what? There's worse shit you can do with your life. Like, kill people. I need some salsa, but that does not cure hangover. That's not very popular. Believe me, I would know. Well, I actually didn't get hangovers until I graduated college. When I was like in college, I could drink like a, I could drink like a fish, and still wake up the next morning perfectly fine. It was only like near the end of college that I started getting hangovers. But you're like, oh, maybe you don't, you don't drink enough. It's like I drank. Believe me, I drank a shit ton. I've never blacked out before, but I've come close a few times. Alright, boss fight time! This is probably the best boss fight in the game, but again, it's an easy way to do this, and I'm going to do it now. I'm going to have four loco, and I still have um, two more honey oh, gums, two more gingos, six more jiggies to go. This is really bad. <sighs> Son of a bitch! I just fell down and I don't! And I just don't! You have to admire the creativity. You wonder if, like, I don't know if they were actually drunk or, I don't know if they were, like, high on something or if it's just, like, they just said, okay, just, like, do a Madlands kind of thing. Like, okay, what's the main enemy in this level? Birds. What will the, uh, shaman be in? A skull. Just say the first words that come to your mind. They will make a level, and we'll make the game based off of that. Like, supposedly the original game was to be a, a boy, like, fighting pirates, and then eventually got turned into, um, a bear and a bird rescuing the bur bear's baby sister from a witch. How did it get to that point? I'm honestly curious. I'm a creative person in and of myself, and even I don't know how that works. Oh, no. I am so Alright. This is it. Because I'm switching to the better uh, window right now. I'm not, I don't even have, like, uh, that to fall back on. I have these kids. I am drunk. So why is the rum gone? I wish I had rum. This rum is delicious. I love rum. Yeah, do you hear? Coconut rum. That's just good. Uh, 
Drink, kids. It's good for you. Something in this tree out there, I don't remember why. Oh, great three world one is present number! I need sixty to beat this game! Do I? Yeah, I need. Yeah, I need, um, uh, I need 40 more in order to beat this game. 40 more, 40 more, 40 more, 40 more, 40 more, 40 more. I got you, Caterpillars. Okay, I'm coming up. Wait, hang on, let me do that. Oh, I have to collect them again. Son of a bitch! Oh, double son of a bitch! God damn it, I am not taking double shots. My poor local was almost out. I deserve better than this. Oh! Oh, shut up, bird. How does he walk up a 90 degree angle? How does anything happen in this game? I don't know. I don't care that I'm destroying your audio. Alright, I, I don't care. I don't care. Hey. Boy toy named Troy used to live in Detroit. But song has fucking awful yet it plays in all the New York City clubs. Boy toy named Troy used to live in Detroit. He was making some coins. Honestly, your ass isn't even that good. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's not that good. Not good enough to make an entire uh, song out of it. It's like that kind of thing where like no wise man would ever call himself wise. No one who ever, whoever has that great of an ass will ever say they have that great of an ass. By the way, this, uh, I'm referring to uh, Anaconda by Nicki Minaj. Like her ass is good, but it's not that good to make an entire song based on out of it. Like I said. No wise man will ever call himself wise. No person that has that great of an ass will ever say they have that great of an ass. Yeah. Huh? So <laughs> oh and Clank. There's another game too that could do that. Well.
I am children. Da 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 you can get that during the fall, I believe. So no, so just gonna leave them there. If you think just throwing the fuck out of your audio, that's because I'm trying to. Oh, it's not like, oh fuck, I don't realize what I'm doing. No, I I, I know what I'm doing, believe me. Oh god, this is terrible. I haven't had a drink in a few minutes. I need to uh, find something else to uh, find either an empty honeycomb, which both of which are in winter, so I'll to wait on that for a little bit. Or uh, something, I don't know. Oh, come on! I really, yeah, I love my on the Oscars videos, but like, I really can't wait till I get to movies that people actually give a shit about, because like, let's just start from the beginning, but who cares about old 30s movies? Not many people. Although, you should all watch the Super 40 Seconds movie, because those are great films, but... I tell you, oh yeah, like, uh, Passion of Joan of Arc. Like, are you really going to watch the Passion of Joan of Arc? No, you're not going to. We get bowling. Finally, I got somewhere. It's summer. Hey, Nab, not what's up now? Ugh, I need too many acorns. Well, that's what you get for being a glutton. Alright, you ever thought of that? Huh? You ever thought of that? Maybe you should be such a fucking glutton. Oh. I need. I need to go to A. I need to make the distinction, I am not a drunkard. I just like getting drunk, okay? Drunkards are the people who need to go to hell. I just, you know, kind of enjoy drinking every now and then. Big difference. I can control it. Which I know every person who has alcohol trouble says that. But I can, okay? So, don't worry about me. Even though I can't. Even though I... Can't control my game right now. I really hope I can beat this before someone else gets home. Yeah, they're currently alive uh, with my folks. Because if you ever graduate college with a film degree, you understand the fight I'm going through right now. I would not be doing this bad if I was sober. Let me make that distinction. Like, if I was sober, I would be kicking ass right now. But I'm not sober, so. I'm sucking. Really bad. Ah. Da, 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 best game soundtrack of all time, or one of the best. Shadow of the Colossus is another game I'd be willing to play drunk. I should play it not too long ago, so probably not in the game. It's still one of the best games of all time. Never seen a drunk a play through a bit. But I don't know when you would take a shot. I guess every time you stab a Colossus. But I don't know. It's... You haven't figured out. PS2 and 64, those are my real houses. And to a lesser extent, the Wii. Ugh. I'll be surprised.
surprised if I can still oh, even scan oh, two feet by the time this oh, live oh, stream is over. Oh, 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 oh. Throw it away, what have you got? Throw it away, what have you got? Throw it away, what have you got? I'm not. I like the season. Fuck a boy! I should not be doing this terrible. Okay. Okay, I'm in, I'm in the zone. I need to get to where the E is. Whoa! Literally, all I need to do is get up to the eagle. But it's like, that's the thing, this level is hard enough when you're sober. And <laughs> I'm drunk on four loco. While, um, while on a relatively empty stomach. I'm not as bad as I was last time. Last time was like, on a whole other level. But now I'm like, oh, oh. Uh. I miss my ex. No, I don't. I don't really. She was a bitch. Uh, you don't. Alright, so. The reason why Banjo Kazoo was such a great game. There, let's, that's, that'll be the conversation of choice for today. I don't know. Alright, honestly, okay, here's the question. Would you guys be interested in seeing, like, a uh, review show where I talk about movies that I watch? Because I usually watch a lot of movies. And especially for the on the Oscars videos, like older movies. Ones where I'm not likely to get in trouble for copyright claims. So mention that in the comments or the chat. It's like the next movie I have to watch for the, on the Oscars, the next Academy Award when it was uh it happened one night. Which I hear is actually supposed to be pretty great. So um would you guys be interested in watching it along with me? I'm curious. Mention it in the chat. I like to hear. Alright, I have to see the evil. One, two, three, four, five! I'm pretty sure that's not how uh, it works, but you know, that's one of those things! not be able to function right now. I am so wrecked. Okay. Hey, <sighs> alright, let's move on to follow. Need to fix the plants, the eagle, the um, the gingos. What else is? What else? The beaver. And there's two more after that. I don't remember offhand what they are. But we shall find out because that's what this game is all about. Bear, get eerie more caterpillars. Need ten this time. Okay, so wait. I'll get. I'll get that for you, buddy. All right. Let me just go down to the free shit store. You think I have money to buy caterpillars for you? Huh? <laughs> I realize I'm peeking the fuck out of my microphone. I really need to get a better microphone. What I'm doing right now is so ghetto. So ghetto! That's an in joke amongst me and my college friend here. There is like a. Uh, we have several editing projects. Like, you get a uh, free stock footage, and one of them is like a community video called So Ghetto, and it's like the worst thing you'll ever see in your life. But it is hilarious. So Ghetto! <sighs> hey, 
Hey, Naughty. What's up, buddy? Oh, dab nut. Dab nut saying corns. Okay, what else is there? There's something else I'm missing. I don't remember what offhand. I already beat the boss. Boss. Oh shit, just an arm piss him out of shit. Hey, Goby! No! Right, that's it! I want the lava world! You know, supposedly, like, uh, there was supposed to be another level in Banjo Kazooie called Mount Fire Eyes that later got repackaged into the, uh, Hellfire Peaks in Banjo Kazooie. That's usually how a lot of these games work. Like, usually, whenever they think, oh, let's make it for, uh, this game, they just repackage it because of time constraints. But, I'm curious, what could have been, like, this seems like the perfect final level before the end of the game. What would, what, how could Mount, how could, uh, Hellfire Peaks have topped that? But whatever. I need help here. House that's shit like this called, not his actual soul. Mumble, he's my boy. Sweet many leaves, no magic today. Really, again, ooh, do it actually be cool if like you could have a different transformation for each season? How cool would that be? Ah, oh, well. Uh, I'll leave that up to your imagination in the chat to say, uh, Hey Casey Hayhurst, how are you doing today? I'm sorry I just uh, noticed your chat now. Uh, I was drunk when <laughs> for most of today. So, uh... Hmm, wish there was a time code. My life's been okay. Thanks for asking. Anyone on Twitch talking? Nope, okay. This is a good way to spend your day off. Like when you freelance like I do, you don't usually have like a full day off. Like this is the first one I've had in a couple weeks. I'll say almost a month now. So it's always good to have that kind of thing. Ah! 
Ah, uh, so yeah. Man. Shit. Alright, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother with that. Suck <laughs> my luck. going on in the beehive? Is there a GD in there that I can find only during the fall? Probably not, but it's worth checking out anyway. Thank you. Thank you. You get to live here because I don't need anything from you right now. Nothing in here for you now. All right. And I don't think, yeah, as much as I've played this game, I don't think I've ever gotten 900 j 900 notes. Because it really is actually kind of hard to do that. Which I hear perfectionists say they don't like this game for that reason, but you know, I say that's like, you know, that's um. Whatever. Because, like, you have to restart from zero every time you I missed my mouth on that, but I still got it in my mouth. So, that's all that counts. <laughs> How the fuck do you miss your mouth drinking a poor loco? I'm a fucking idiot. Am I right or am I right? I mean, look, if you can't make if you can't make it into your mouth while drinking a poor lo while drinking out of a can, you really suck at life. Okay? I'm sorry. You don't deserve to breathe, which is great because sometimes maybe you don't want to breathe. Maybe you don't want children. Maybe you hate children. Right? You don't know. You don't know being wise. Okay, mom. <laughs> Oh. I should not be allowed on live streams in this state. I should not be allowed on live streams in general. I should not be allowed in public. I should not be allowed to uh, function. I should not be allowed a girlfriend. I should not be allowed to uh, even be near, near girls. Because it always ends bad. <laughs> Even though I am not too bad. Oh well. Okay, there's the leaf. I'll try that again. Yeah, 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 buddy. Come on, baby, light my fire. Okay. Let's we'll try it the old fashioned way. Boom. Boom, boom. Yeah, if I remember correctly, these birds are like fucking everywhere during the fall season. Like, they don't stop. Honestly, I'm so surprised. Like, this game is almost as old as I am, and it still looks pretty damn good. Like, okay, it doesn't look. Beautiful, by any means, but like, look, it's cool. It looks cool. Like, those birds still look fine. So, you know, it's, um, honestly, I think I usually find games that try to look cartoony more than realistic tend to age better. But that's just me. Um, yeah. Moving on, moving on. Now, when you hear me sing this song, let's move along, move along. Alright, there's the other jiggy. Uh -huh. 
still some more in my beard, but I'm getting it. Alright. And then you have to get a face off against some of the old enemies you faced earlier in the game. Hey, Nabna, what's up? Alright, he needs all his acorns because he's a glutton who doesn't know how to pace himself! They're all in this immediate area. It's not like you have to go all the all around click pop wood looking for acorns. Now you can find it pretty easily. Actually, if you want to die, just play the drinking game. Uh, play, um, play a uh, contra, and every time you kill something, take a shot. You'll be dead <laughs> before you know it. Or play Mario, and every time you get a mushroom, take a shot. I mean the original Mario, like Mario Super Mario Brothers, or Super Mario Brothers. Or Super Mario Brothers 2, or New Super Mario Bros. We I don't fucking know. Right. How am I alive? Not where? Am I? Oh shit! All right, gotta go up and do that shit again. Ah, oh, not matter. sober playing this piece, then I could actually be doing good. And also get this out of the way so I can move on to other stuff in my day. So I still, even after this, I still need to beat the final level and beat Gruntilda. I can't just do that another day because there's no drinking game to be had because I, I'll have gotten all the jiggies by then. Alright, let's see if we can finish this off. Let's see if I can finish this off within one hour, okay? Hey, Uzi Cooper, how you doing, buddy? You're, uh, so what's up with you today, okay? What are some of your favorite Banjo Kazooie memories? I'm curious to hear. Uzi, correct? Yeah, Uzi. Ah, uh, oh, come on! I was right there! I was right over the water! So tell me, buddy, what's some of your favorite gaming memories of Banjo Kazooie? GOD DAMN IT! How much you have? Ninety-six jiggy, seven hundred and fuck. Now for a local so this shit is worthless now. No, I can't do it.
Yeah. Hey, dude, what's up, buddy? Oh, fuck the shit. I'm just gonna get out the chicken. All the nuts that I can until I reach over the city cake. So the eagle turned into a giant eagle. The blue ginger was in winter. And contrary to what I thought, I cannot beat uh, Bezo Kazooie 100 percent get all 100 JPs while drunk. I thought I would, I can't. Sorry. Let's see if I can get the rainbow scale on the notes that I need. Yeah, fuck yourself. Poor local too, so I can't even take more shots when I uh, get shit down. It's really sad thing. It's gonna be so bad at times too, which that sucks, you know? How can we complain? I really am in the game, I'm complaining when I can't drink more. You know what? I think I'm done for today. I am like, I, I'm, I'm like, I am too irresponsibly drunk to do anything else. So thank you to everyone who came out. I'm sorry I couldn't beat the game, but you know. Maybe I'll try some other day to do it, but for now, we'll just move on with our lives. Either way, thank you to everyone who came out, and um, yeah, that's it for Banjo Al Kazooie for now. TBA on whether or not we'll finish it off, but until then, take care. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so drunk.